back to Horror Through the Decades. We're going to tackle 2000's Pitch Black, directed by D- David Tui. He directed The Arrival and all of the live-action films of the Riddick series that we're going to talk about. Uh, he also wrote The wa- uh, the Fugitive, Waterworld, G.I. Jane, Critters 2. Uh, he also wrote it with Jim and Ken Wheat. I'm not going to just give him all the credit for writing this movie. Um, this starred Vin Diesel, who is uh, Riddick in the movie. Um, he had been the voice of Iron Giant, which was a really popular movie, but this was kind of the movie. Uh, he had a small role in Saving Private Ryan, but this movie and a movie that came out on the exact same day called Boiler Room kind of is what launched him to superstardom. Uh, it got him the, you know, this Fast and Furious franchise that turned him into the Vin Diesel that is what it is today. Um, we also have... <clears throat> Rada Mitchell, who was in London Has Fallen, Olympus Has Fallen, Surrogates, uh, The Silent Hill Films, Man on Fire, and Phone Booth. Uh, Cole Hauser, who was uh, School Ties, Dazed and Confused, Good Will Hunting, Too Fast, Too Furious, and then Yellowstone, where he became the favorite of every female ever. <laughs> um, he did not have a beard in this movie, so apparently he had to grow a beard, so he became the favorite of... Every female ever. <laughs> uh, it also had Keith David, who is a literal icon. I mean, if you don't know Keith David, this is just a, a running theme throughout Horror Through the Decades this year. There's at least one actor who is like, if you don't know this guy, stop watching movies. Um, we also had Claudia Black, who was in Farscape, did a lot of voiceover. She was also in a couple episodes of Ashoka. Uh, this movie had a 60 on Rotten Tomatoes, a 7 on IMDb, and a 49 on Metacritic. A uh, box office of 23, uh, no, I'm sorry, a budget of 23 and a box office of 53. Uh, we've got two other live action movies out of it. One that they're um, saying is going to come out any day now, an animated movie and three video games. Um, fun little fact, the desert that they filmed in, Uh, was actually so cold they had to keep misting the actors to make it look like they were sweating um because you know well if you've ever been to the desert you know that sometimes the desert's actually pretty cold because there's nothing that keeps heat there um it also the idea of this came from an unused alien 3 script which i will say uh makes this way better than what alien 3 actually was um so what would you do if you crash landed in the desert How about if that desert was an alien planet? Also, that planet was inhabited by bloodthirsty creatures hell-bent on eating their way anything that they can get a hold of. Uh, Personally, I'm pretty sure I would just die. But if you're a badass escaped con with surgically, surgically altered eyes to see in the dark, then you're Riddick and you're now in pitch black. Um, It explores your fear of the unknown, the fear of the untamed wild, and, and fear of the dark. In a future where commercial flight is gone interstellar, our group clash lands on a desert planet with three suns while trying to figure out how to escape their dire predicament, because that's pretty scary in of itself, being crashed in the desert, especially on an alien planet. They come across a what they think is an abandoned outpost. The survivors then discover that they aren't alone as they were as one of them gets taken. Uh, they all want to blame Riddick because he's, you know, the escaped con and he's the bad guy, but... Yeah, they they go to discover that there's some sort of creature that's afraid of the dark. Or not afraid of the dark. They're afraid of the dark. The creature's afraid of the light. Uh, However, unfortunately for them, they now discover that the planet is about to go into total eclipse. Which means the creatures that cannot go into the light are now going to be in the dark. Uh, Vin Diesel really shines in this role and it's obvious why he went on to be the superstar that he is. Uh, the real horror of the movie is playing on our fear of the unknown. What takes place out, what's out there, what's in the dark, what's under the surface, and what secrets do total strangers have? The tone shifts from survival to monster and then back to survival, but it really works. The monsters are never really explained, and that, I think, is actually to the benefit of the film. Um, it's so it doesn't get bogged down in a lot of details. Um, it does lead to some really cool like stuff with, with Vin Diesel fighting uh, random alien monsters. Uh, and But it also shows that sometimes the real monsters are people, ourselves. 
I'm going to give this 4.5 out of 5, 4.5 out of 5 random bottles of liquor that you will use to t uh, turn into torches. <laughs> <laughs>